Welcome back. Out of seven murders on island since the start of the year, two of them have been particularly heinous. So on that note, the Hot 7 team took to the streets to ask members of the public whether they are concerned about the brutish nature of this year's violent crimes. Here is what you had to see. The island so far has recorded seven murders, and out of those seven murders, one involved a man being decapitated and another involved a woman being burnt in a vehicle. This level of brutality is somewhat unprecedented in St. Lucia. With that said, are you concerned about the new brutal nature of crime in St. Lucia? Well, I'm concerned because I'm concerned Yeah, it's a concern about the crime, but you know, if nothing can be done, if the government has to get something properly done, you know, yeah. But what about us as citizens? We don't see and we say nothing. Yeah, but sometimes if you see and you say something, well, sometimes, you know, the trouble ends up coming for you. So you have to just keep your mouth shut certain time. Well, there's a big concern, you know, because I say there's a lack of the parents' responsibility to, towards the kids that is um, rising. The, you know, like before, we would, we would rise and our parents would make sure that we pray. We make sure that we have a spiritual aspect within us. Right now, the kids will wake up and ask them if they pray. They, they do not pray. They do not know, even know if there is a God existing. And everybody wants to do their own thing. The father said, um, leave revenge for him. He will take it. But everybody feel like they are frustrated about everything and they want to take things into their own hand, revenges and all. It is not nice in the country. I mean, I don't know if it's going to get worse, which I'm, I'm seeing it's going out of hand with the younger youths that is coming out there right now, the younger generation. Boy, that kind of bother in me, you know. Uh, I feel St. Lucian should be, come better than that, man. Because too many things happening. I, I, I heard the flyer man head, all kind of thing like that. Down in view fort. Oh my God, that's trouble, man. So that, that of a, a, a concern to you? Yeah, it's a concern to me. I wish that all them things could have just stopped. Yeah, if them things stop, then we'll be more peaceful instead of going to war all the time for what? So you can't be too much, you go go. We are two men who live in this country, who are in a crime kind of place, no part in this area. I don't have a lot of consequences that affect me. I can put a top top to solve the case. And if you have a disability, you can really see it. Do you see what happened there? People will always commit murder. Because Joel is a place where people get their free meals a day, lie down, bathe, and watch TV. And when you hear the shout, it's okay. They're coming out fat like a bull. They will always do it again. That's all I have to say. I don't have a long thing to say on that, huh? because you know what happened to that? We have to blame the system. Okay? What they're teaching the children at school, you understand, is pure false. Because they're teaching children about the cow jump over the moon, so Francis Drake, Morgan the Pirate, all what the man was doing, and they call them for as great man, robbing, kidnapping, and thiefing, and killing people. So they used doing the same thing they taught them at school. And that is all. Well, you've heard what they had to say. If you want a chance to share your opinion, join us next time for Have Your Say. Reporting for Hot 7 News, I'm Michelle Gonzalez. Those were your views. St. Lucia's Prime Minister Alan Shastney and Minister for Agriculture Ezekiel Joseph are currently in St. Vincent and the Grenadines for a one-day meeting with Winfresh executives. St. Vincent's Prime Minister Ralph Gonzalez and Minister for Agriculture Sabatu Cesar are also part of the meeting. Minister Joseph says the purpose of the meeting is to discuss the future of Winfresh and to strengthen the focus and support to the banana industry in particular to take advantage of the opportunities in the various markets. Winfresh is owned by the governments of Grenada, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, St. Lucia and Dominica. Though currently pursuing athletic training and education as a student of the St. Lucia Sports Academy, 15-year-old Arthur Lee William of Babono has also excelled in the arts. His work is currently on display at the City Hall, along with pieces from several of the nation's primary and secondary schools. A National Schools Visual Arts Exhibition is currently ongoing at the Castry City Hall. The week-long program features the work of students from around the island with special recognition of 15-year-old Arthur Lee William. 
William, a student athlete currently enrolled at the St. Lucia Sports Academy, is what visual arts instructor Naja Simeon describes as a prime example that the curriculum of the sports academy is broad and creates allowance for students to excel in all areas of education. I am a teacher at the sports academy and I teach visual arts and um, we do all the subject areas at the sports academy. So they do visual arts, they do theatre, music, math, English, social studies, you name it but they focus on the sports. That means they train in the morning and they eat a healthy, balanced diet throughout the day and they train in the evening. So there is a focus on sports, but we also do all the other academic subjects. Simeon urges the public to visit the exhibition to witness the creative abilities of students. He says the vast variety of craft and mixed media pieces on display signify a bright future for the creative industries. For 7 News, I am Jaco Wooding. A mapping and outreach project is currently being undertaken by the St. Lucia Blind Welfare Association to ensure that there are accurate statistics when it relates to blindness and vision impairment. It will better place the organization to offer relevant services to those in need. Rosemary Compton is the mapping and outreach officer for the St. Lucia Blind Welfare Association. This mapping project started in January and we're going on for a few months, whereby we have endeavored to reach out to people who are blind and low vision, people who are really struggling with their sight, and they uh, trying to register them and find them where they are and know where we have the prevalence of blindness and to know what corrective measures can be put in place as much as possible. And also to find out their status so that we'll have a better idea of the needs of those persons so as to help them in our rehabilitation or adjustment to blindness. Program. Compton says more accurate statistics exist for those born with blindness, but less so for those who become afflicted with blindness later in life. She says coping with blindness is a major adjustment for people who previously had their sight. It's very hard when somebody is born blind. It is one situation, but we cater for those persons too, but we need to find out those persons who lived all their lives with their sight, and now they have gone blind, and we know it's more difficult, and we want to see how best we can help them as they express their needs or we can uh, uh, maybe direct them to somewhere where they can get some help to improve their situation and to make living with their condition much better. The program is being rolled out by volunteers and community health nurses and takes the form of a survey. Compton appeals for cooperation as the Blind Welfare Association tries to serve the needs of the blind and visually impaired. The French Embassy has congratulated the government and people of St. Lucia on the island's 41st anniversary of independence. It was held under the theme, Now is the time, let's do this together. The embassy says this year's theme is a vibrant call to all St. Lucians and even French citizens of neighboring territories to join together in unwavering efforts to further advance their country's well-being. Congratulations for your 41st uh, anniversary, that was the last, uh, last week. I think uh, 41 years, it's a wonderful age. Uh, you can be proud of, uh, of it. And to tell you the truth, um, I was struck by the motto of the, uh, the anniversary. You know the motto was, now it's the time, let's do it uh, together. And it may, it may seem a simple motto, but actually I realize it's the motto we could have, uh, we, France, in the, uh, in the Caribbean. St. Lucia's continued cooperation with Martinique and Guadeloupe was highlighted. I think it's the time for a Caribbean country like France, because you know that two of the regions of France are in the Caribbean uh, country. Uh, it's time uh, to live really together. And when I say really together, we are neighbors. Uh, France is at uh, 30 uh, kilometers from St. Lucia. St. Lucia and French territories share a strong history and culture. This is the Hot 7 TV Nightly News. Stay with us. Sports and weather are coming up after the break.